does it take to create amazing sounding chords? The answer is one single string. You see, the magical truth about guitar tuning is that it allows you to add color to chords with minimal effort. Take the D major chord as an example. Pretty standard, right? Now let's change one string. And just like that, we build a different, more colorful chord. So open strings create magic. Now, if you want to take it a step further and bring the D major chord to a higher register of the neck while keeping that one open string, you get another magical chord. Now, this is a major triad, precisely a D major triad. We are playing the root note D, the perfect fifth A, and the major third F sharp. Now, typically, in a triad, these notes are stacked in thirds, like this. Root note D, major third F sharp, and perfect fifth A. However, in open or spread triads, the notes are spaced out more widely, so one of the notes is typically played an octave higher, or lower than in a closed position triad, which is what we have right here. Root note, fifth, and the major third is played one octave higher. Now, based on this one chord shape and this concept of adding open strings to a chord, let's build a beautiful chord progression. We are in the key of D major, so let's play a D major, A major, B minor, F sharp minor, G major, D major, E major, and A major. It's almost like playing the canon in D, but this E major really made it sound slightly different. Now let's analyze the chords. D open triad with the first open string. This is a beautiful D add nine chord. Root note, perfect fifth, major third and major ninth. For the second chord, A major, we are not playing an open triad, we are playing an A5 chord, just a root note A, another root note A, the perfect fifth E, and another perfect fifth. Super simple. Now for the B minor, beautiful chord, it's a minor 11th chord, or add 11th chord in this case. We are playing the root note, B, the perfect fifth F sharp, the minor third D, and the perfect 11th, the note E. We'll do the same thing for the F sharp minor, let's bring it here. Beautiful. F sharp minor seventh chord, we have the root note F sharp, the perfect fifth, C sharp, we have the minor third, A, and the minor seventh, E. Now for the G major, a beautiful G sixth chord, we have the root note G, the uh, perfect fifth, D, the major third, B, and the major sixth, E. Now let's go back to the D add 9 chord, and then E major on fret 7, and we finish with the A major. So the open E string adds a different color to certain chords for the D major, for the B minor and for the F sharp minor. Now let's take a look at the finger picking pattern. We are playing six notes. The thumb on the fifth string, index on the fourth, the middle finger on the second string, and the ring finger on the first string. Then we go back to the second string, and the fourth string. A total of six notes. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Now you can repeat this pattern for all the other chords.
Now, I love it, but we can't have such a beautiful chord progression without a melody. We can keep it simple, that is simple. We can literally just play three notes, but those three notes will definitely make you enjoy this chord progression even more. Let me play it for you. Now the awesome thing about this melody is that it's structured in the same way for all the chords. The melody starts on the third of each chord. So in this case, always on the second string. So for the D add 9 chord, we have the melody on the second string, got fret 7, 8, 5, and 7. For the A5 chord, we have the melody on the second string, fret number five, seven, eight, and five. Now in this case, we are starting the melody from the fifth of the chord. B minor. The melody is on fret three, five, two, and five. Let's keep the same structure for the F sharp minor chord. So the melody on 10, 12, 9, and 12. Now, G major. The melody is on the second string, fret number 12, 9, 10, and 12. Back to the D at 9 chord. Now, E major. The melody is on fret 9, 10, 7, and 9, and we finish with the A major. Now this is a simple yet powerful concept. Of course you can change key, change chord shapes, but the concept is the same. Add open strings to a major or a minor triad to see what color it will add to the chords. Now the tab is available on my Patreon page as well as at ourpassionformusic.com. We have an awesome challenge there. We run a lesson every single day so you can learn something new, practice something new every single day. We focus on one technique every single day. So, so if you want to check it out, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Enjoy this lesson and I'll see you next time.